Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, we will be looking at how can you use Padlet with Microsoft Teams. As you all know, Padlet is a free online notice board. There are various ways that I use them in my classes and I would love to share them with you all. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am on my Padlet dashboard. In this video, I will be showing you how I am using Padlet using Microsoft Teams in my classes. I will leave a link in the description box below on how to get started with your Padlet. So let's go ahead and jump into our Microsoft Teams. As you can see, I have a channel that says Math Cafe and here is where I post my Padlets. So the first Padlet you see is asking my students what keeps them going because as a virtual instructor, you kind of want to know and get to know your students better. So this one helps my students to talk more about themselves, tell them what keeps them going, and it also gives me an idea of what my students are. The next one is comments and suggestions. I usually ask my students how I can improve myself, what I need to do better, and what do they think I should have done. So here is another way of breaking an eyes, telling your students as an instructor, it's okay for them to suggest. My students absolutely love it. As this is anonymous, they can actually go ahead and type whatever they want. And another way that I use a Padlet with my students is to check their social emotional status. As an instructor, you definitely want to know what's happening with them on a weekly basis because I don't teach synchronously. I would love to know more about them. So I ask them to post something good that happened to them over the weekend. I tell them that putting their names is not a requirement, but if they want to, they can. Students actually go ahead and talk more. They open up more and it's a nice way of telling your students that you definitely care what's happening in their lives. And next is my favorite which is voting. Because I teach higher education, having all my students available to me at one particular time is really difficult. So before I have a review session, I always take a poll and ask my students what times works the best. When you are taking a poll, please make sure you uncheck the option where students can comment. The only option that should be available to them is to like or dislike. And as you can see, Tuesday afternoon is a winner. So now that we've seen all different kinds of Padlets, let's go ahead and see how to add a Padlet into Microsoft Teams. So here is a Padlet that I use to answer review questions for my students. Students do not like to email the instructor and ask them what they don't know. And if I have a discussion board, students do not like other students to know what they don't know. So this is an anonymous post that my students can simply take a screenshot of the question that they're having difficulty with and they simply go ahead and post it right here. Me as an instructor, I go ahead and comment. Sometimes I will upload a YouTube video if I have to. I will go ahead and solve the problem out if the YouTube and the commenting doesn't work. And I also use the screen recording feature inside Padlet to record myself explaining Eight, it to my seven. students. That's your final answer. Students usually like it because one, it's anonymous and they know it catches my eye and I will definitely respond to them. So now let's go ahead and see how I can add this Padlet into my Microsoft Teams. You will simply go ahead and click share, copy the link to the clipboard. You will go into your Teams. You will click on the Add tab icon you will be adding your Padlet as a website. So you'll go ahead and click on website. You will name it. I will say review questions and I will simply go ahead and paste my Padlet and I'll click save. So once you do that, the Padlet is automatically embedded into your team. Students do not have to leave the Teams platform in order to participate in your discussion or your Padlet. They simply have to click on the plus button all the way on the right hand corner and comment, post and participate in your Padlet. Another way of using your Padlet is for exit tickets, asking for suggestions or your whiteboard answers or poster presentations. I also like having uh, birthday celebrations on Padlets, the options are limitless. 
I hope this video helped. If it does, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might really use Padlet to kick it up a notch. And always remember, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.